Hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to force push to GitHub. Force pushing can be very useful when you need to overwrite the remote repository with your local changes. However, it's important to use it with caution as it can potentially cause issues for other collaborators. Before we dive in, make sure to check out the link in the description to get an amazing deal on hosting or hosting using my affiliate link. Alright, let's get started. Imagine you are working on a project and you realize that you made a mistake in your previous commit. You have already pushed those changes to GitHub, but now you want to fix it. One way to do this is by creating a new commit with the fixes and pushing it to the GitHub. However, this can lead to a messy commit history. Wouldn't it be great if we could simply override the remote repository with our updated local changes? That's where the force pushing comes in. To demonstrate force pushing, let's create a simple problem. I will add a file to my local repository using this command touch xyz.txt. Press enter. The file has been created. You can add anything in it. Something wrong. Okay. And now I will stage it with this command git add xyz.txt. Now I will commit it git commit with wrong changes press enter finally i will push it to the github with git push origin main all right the changes has been pushed now let me reload my commit history in the github you can see the changes has has been pushed now let's say i realized that i made a mistake in this file and i would like to revert or delete this commit so that i could create a new commit and make changes so to fix this i will use another command in my terminal but before that let me show you the logs in local as well git log and you can see these are all of my commits and this is the commit that i want to reset so now i will run the command git reset dash dash hard head and tell the sign and one it has deleted that commit that's why you will start to see this number here that's uh, that means it is saying that there is one commit in the remote repository that is not available in this repository so we have to pull it but we don't want to pull it otherwise it will recover that commit and that's not what we want we want to delete it from the remote repository as well so before pushing it online i will just run the git log command once again and you can see that the commit has been deleted now I will push it online. Use the command git push origin main. Okay, you can see that we got some errors here. It is saying that failed to push some refs to this, etc. The reason is that uh, we have some changes to pull, but we don't want to pull because we don't want to recover the commit. So I will quickly run the command git git push dash dash force origin main press enter this will override the remote repository with my local state effectively removing the previous commit all right now let's go back to the github and reload it you can see that the commit has been removed now i can go ahead and create my file again and type the correct code in it and push it again and in this way my github repository would stay clean and there you have it the remote repository is now updated. Force pushing can be powerful tool when used correctly. It allows you to override the remote repository with your local changes, which can be helpful in situations like the one we just demonstrated. However, it's crucial to use force pushing cautiously, especially when collaborating with others, as it can potentially override their work. So always communicate with your team before force pushing. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you to check out the link in the description to get an incredible deal on Hostinger hosting using my affiliate link. It's a great way to support the channel while getting top notch hosting for your own projects. I hope that I could provide some value in this tutorial. If you if this video was helpful for you, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos like this. And also please like and share this video and if you have any questions or any feedback or any suggestions 
then please mention them in the comment section below thanks for watching and happy coding see you next time goodbye